Hi Taurus, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, this will be um, a general tarot forecast. So we may get whatever energy comes out here. We could get uh, love, we could get career finance, we could get you know social energy, family, friends. We're going to take the energy as it comes, the messages as they come. And hopefully it resonates for you. So if you did click on the title, then obviously something in here is probably for you. So again, please only take what resonates and throw away the rest, including signs mentioned. I could pick up on past, present, or future energy. I could pick on pick up on something uh, going on with something around you, someone around you that's affecting you in some way also. So please keep that in mind. And we're going to look at here, whatever energy comes out, we're going to look at the energy. We're going to look at the situation. We're going to look at your advice, possible outcome, all clarified with more tarot oracles. So please stay tuned. So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy December. So this reading is good for whenever you see this. Obviously, it's out before December. So I do consider all my readings timeless. So this is for whenever you see it till whenever um, I do date them. So my viewers know in which date I uploaded them. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, the playlists are below. I do consider them all timeless. So if a uh, title catches your eye and it resonates, I'd say watch it. Okay, Taurus. So what's going on with Taurus? So let's see what we get here. We could get a sign, element, planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. So let's see what we have for Taurus. It's a zodiac oracle for Taurus. Let's take that one. Let's see what we have. Neptune. And Neptune is... Pisces. So Neptune is all about imagination, compassion, psychic experiences, balancing energy of some kind, whether it's physical, mental circumstances around you. Um, and we got two and then we got two and one is three. So two, three. So something could uh, be progressing for you in some way. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. You could have Pisces in your chart. Or know somebody that has Pisces in their chart. Again, it could be anybody around you since this is a general reading. All right, so let's get with this Moonology deck. Let's get um, let's get an opening message. An opening message for you, Taurus. Let's get an opening message for Taurus at this time, Spirit. Please, thank you so much. What is the opening message for Taurus? Opening message for Taurus, please. Thank you so much, Spirit. We have an opening message for Taurus. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, so needing to make the first move in something here. I don't know what that could be. It could be anything. It could be just uh, apologizing to somebody. It could be about a relationship. Uh, something here is telling you that you need to make the first move. So, hmm. all right. So let's get one more here for your current energy. What is the current energy of Taurus? What is all this about for Taurus? The current energy of Taurus. A time for healing. Okay. Balsamic moon. So something here could be need, could need healing between you and another person, situation, whatever here. You may need to be the one to make the first move to apologize or initiate contact to bring in healing because we have Carmel Moon and Balsamic Moon. And if you look, it's kind of like opposite energies here. So, so kind of coming together, though. So something, you know, coming together here and you may not have to initiate that for healing, whatever your situation is, whatever it is for you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have you are good enough full moon in virgo so it could be a virgo uh around you in some way maybe somebody made somebody else feel like they weren't good enough or maybe you know you could have done that to them like not intentionally or something and they were very hurt or something like that and maybe somebody just needs to come forward apologize have some healing conversations um, it could have been a Virgo. Maybe it happened during the Virgo season, which was um, end of August into July. Oh, no, I'm sorry. End of August into September. <laughs> Going backwards. So it could be that also. You see very foggy energy here. 
So I feel like it's like a foggy situation, like things need to be cleared up. Okay, so let's clarify what's going on here for you. Um, it could be family, friends, coworkers, your partner. It could be anything here. So whatever it is for you, if you feel like the uh, fog needs to be cleared, you know, healing needs to take place. If you feel like you can't do it, like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. You know, you are good enough. You can do it. All right. So, and Virgo, you know, also here, Virgo represents the hermit and the tarot, which is about finding your way, your light, um, doing that introspection, that deep down uh, soul searching work. So spending some time alone, really thinking about things. So... Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. So, you know, the Pisces, Neptune energy there is about compassion. So being in a more compassionate energy, balancing things out. All right, so let's see Taurus. Why is Taurus in this energy? Judgment. Scorpio energy here. So making a final judgment call, resurrection, forgiveness. Life review, relationship review, making a final judgment call, asking for forgiveness or giving forgiveness, resurrecting relationships, situations of the past. Knight of Cups, again, taking that action forward, a loving, compassionate energy, movement forward, and making that judgment call. So you could be in that energy, you know, of, you know, making this judgment call to come forward with, you know, compassion, loving, peaceful energy, healing energy. Um, so we have Scorpio and then we have water here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's get a couple more to clarify. The Four of Coins and the Three of Swords. So yeah, there may have been heartache and pain here um, in this situation, something that was very painful. So I think you both retreated here, or you could have, because this is your energy with the Four of Coins. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you could have retreated here, hold, held on to your stability, and, you know, just kind of kept to yourself again. You know, the Four of Coins energy to me is always an energy of holding back and holding on at the same time. So so this for, this hurt, pain, whatever it was here, something painful, you know, there might have been tears shed here. You see this woman is crying, man, woman, doesn't matter. Um, that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And you could have just retreated here, just held on to what you had and just went and retreated off on your own here with the four of coins protecting your heart. Usually you see regular tarot, they have the coin over their heart, protecting their heart, protecting themselves kind of energy. All right, so let's get your actual situation here. Queen of Wands. So now we have Fire, Leo Sagittarius. So this is a very passionate, fiery energy. So let's get uh, a couple more here. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So yeah, painful, hurtful ending here, right in the middle. So there might have been like just a total cutoff of this person, the situation. Could have been with a fire sign. Because the swords is about truth, clarity, uh, cutting away things not serving, um, telling it like it is, standing up for yourself. But in that energy, it's a painful, hurtful thing here, which I think you just re kind of retreated off on your own here, just hang held on to yourself, your stability, held back from this person, not really uh, giving anything to this person. So there could have been a fire sign. But painful ending there. So things may have ended with this person. Uh, could have been relationship, family, friend, co-worker, job, something here. Faith. So, you know, Taurus energy. So there you are, coming up. Keeping the faith. Doing what's moral, just, and right. Right. A spirituality, religion, um, praying, meditating. This can also speak of someone of wise counsel, um, structure, kind of energy. 
I'm feeling like even though you felt like it ended with this person, well, whether you retreated from them or they retreated from you because of something hurtful here, um, I feel like you're still keeping the faith even though you feel like it's ended with this person, someone who's very fiery, fiery personality. You still kept the faith that maybe this can be healed. That is kind of healing the situation, praying for that, of healing the situation. So let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. The Six of Wands. So the, yeah, there can be successful healing here. Um, six of Wands energy, fire energy. Leo Sagittarius doesn't have to be, but success, victory, accomplishment. So there can be successful healing in this situation. Seven of Coins. So your energy, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you know, patiently waiting, like maybe keeping tabs on them. Maybe this is something, somebody you've known or a situation here for a very long time. Invested a lot in them. Again, whether it's a friend, a co-worker, family, lover, whatever here, you know, you've invested a lot. But, you know, this is an energy of patient, just patiently waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, can this be healed? Can this be resurrected? Can this, with the judgment card there, can we move on from this, even though you feel like it's done and it's over? But there is success and victory there over this, healing over this. Will this be resurrected? Will this be healed? All right, so let's see what your advice is in this situation. Ten of coins. So that's total prosperity, growth, abundance for the long term. You know, happy home and family, you know, family dynamic from everything from the home to the finances to legacy of a family dynamic, kids, grandkids, grandparents, total abundance there. So your advice is there, is there the Ten of Pentacles in this situation? Let's see what else for your advice? Strength, having strength, courage, dignity, willpower, taming the beast from within, holding back when you need to, Leo energy here, um, having that determination, perseverance, All right, so let's get a couple more. Six of coins. So again, balance. This is like the minor of the justice card. Equal, rep, you know, equal um, reciprocation, balancing out the scales. Things becoming more balanced. Things can balance out. Things can be healed. You could get back to the Ten of Pentacles if somebody is strong enough to come forward as with the Knight of Cups here, and heal the situation and make that final judgment call to resurrect this. Review it, heal it, forgive it, and having the strength to do that and also hold back from things that don't need to be said or done. All right, so what else here? Ace of Swords, so there's a brand new beginning. So this could be a brand new beginning here based on truth. Clarity, again, truth and clarity, cutting away things no longer serving, um, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS too, big epiphany, um, awakening based on truth and clarity, brand new beginning, divinely guided in this situation. Okay, so this could be healed. This could be a brand new beginning. You know, I think it would be stronger than before because we do have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is very good. Strong strength. All right, so that's your advice. If you want this, if you want to resurrect this, review it, heal it, mend it, forgive it, and move forward in that direction, I would say do it based on truth and clarity. Strength here, willpower, hold back things that don't need to be said or done. And I do see equal um, equal exchange here, balancing things balancing out. So they may want this healing as much as you do if this is what you want. All right, so let's get possible outcome here. So we have the eight of wands. So there's the communication, very fast paced communication, news coming in, travel, um, fiery energy again. They may make the first move towards you because we do have a lot of fire here. We have Leo here and we have um, fire here because we do have the queen of wands over here for your actual situation. So if you're not dealing with a fire sign, somebody could just be very like bold and fiery. And 
you know, maybe you're keeping the faith and praying, oh, maybe, you know, they'll come to me and we can work this out. And they may, because you got the fire here with the eight of wands. Or this could be you taking that action forward. All right, so let's get a couple more here. Clarify your outcome. Five of coins, yeah. Your energy being cold, abandoned, left out in the cold energy from this person. Definitely here. King of Swords. So air energy here. So again, so we have the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. King or Queen doesn't matter. And that's uh, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be though. So again, being in that energy of um, truth and clarity, cutting away things not serving, telling it like it is, not taking any BS. Uh, that kind of energy. Clear thinking and communication. So being in that energy. So I do see travel, movement, communication coming in from a very truthful, honest place about the separation, about being left out in the cold and apart from each other and healing, mending the situation, resurrecting it, forgiving it. But somebody has to make the first move, whether it's you or them, and I think this could make this stronger than it was before. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the chariot, and there is that movement forward, Cancer balanced movement forward determination being brave and going after it and being successful positive movement forward here successful successful move now we have the palace of wands this deck has four palace cards and sometimes they never come out it's the only deck that has these palace of wands and then there's air you know swords pentacles and cups so yeah so living in an energy of just that like that creative energy, that fiery, passionate energy, like being all fired up kind of energy, fiery energy. And now we got the tree of life. Wow, and this card very rarely comes out also. So you could have deep roots with this person. Could be, again, a family member or something like that or a partner. You could have deep, deep roots with this person with the tree of life. Again, I'm getting like more of like a family member or very close friend you've known since childhood or something like that, or it could be a longtime partner. Deep roots here. They're meant to be part of your life. They're meant to be in your tree of life here. Wow, Knight of Quants. So that's your energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So taking that movement forward, very slow movement though, very practical, smart approach. Um, it's a stable approach, you know, calculating things out very well to make sure nothing goes wrong here. But it's a very stable energy. And there's a brand new beginning again. So we got two new brand new beginnings here. Fiery, passionate, exciting energy, projects, ideas, um, endeavors, moving forward. Temperance. Again, Sagittarius doesn't have to be balancing balancing things out. Patience, needing patience in this to balance this out. Peace, harmony, forgiveness. People coming back, the temperance angel brings soulmates back together and it doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a family member. It can be a very close friend. It can be your soulmate. So bringing people back together that are meant to be together because they are part of your tree of life here. And they are meant to be part of your palace here. And then, wow, another brand new beginning. Stable, grounded, abundant, prosperous for the long term. So, Wow. Yep, another brand new beginning here. Divinely got two, eight, three, three aces. We don't have the ace of cups, so I don't feel like it's a love situation. I feel like it's more of like a family uh, or a very close friend or something like that. Balance coming back in, peace and harmony, taking a very slow practical approach. They could a home here again. I mean, if it is a partner, it just could be again a friend, family member. That's part of your tree of life here. And taking that positive movement forward. Wow. Okay, Taurus. So I'm going to get some extra messages here from the numerology deck for you on this. So I do ask if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll get four readings a month. You'll get a general tarot forecast, a love connection reading, a singles reading if you're single who's coming towards you, and a spirit messages reading, what you need to know from spirit at this time. So if you are interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. Please do check the description box below. Lots of information, how to book a personal reading. 
decks I'm using, uh, social media, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you for being a part of the channel's growth and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you so much. All right, let's get some extra messages for Taurus. Extra messages for Taurus on this situation. So we have individuality here, 11. So a lot, 11 is like a divinely guided path. So I do feel like this person is meant to be in your life. Um, you could be very different from one another. We have individu individuality here. So that could, you know, maybe you just very um, red, orange color there is very passionate energy. So maybe you have different outlooks on life, just very different. You're passionate about different things. Maybe you have different point of views and outlooks. Sometimes maybe you clash. But I think they're meant to be in your life for a reason here. So that could be why this happened here, whatever your situation was. Okay, so let's get another one here. Adventure. We got 55. Fives are about change. So, yeah, this has been, I feel like, quite an adventure for you. <laughs> all this all this that's been going on. Pretty new adventures are waiting for you moving forward. We did have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. And I don't necessarily add a double number together, but if you do, 10 is an ending and 1 is a new beginning. So... Let's get another card here. Teaching and learning. So yeah, learning a lot from one another. You know, teaching each other a lot of lessons and learning from those lessons here. And we have 75, which is 12, which is 3, which is coming back together. Teamwork, collaboration, compromise, rejoicing, celebrating, socializing kind of energy. Manifesting this with purple. So this can be manifest, manifested, learning the lessons that you've been taught through this uh, adventure. <laughs> about your differences with individuality there. But 11, it was a path that you were meant to walk. All right, so let's see what's on. Happy ending, so there you go. So 12 again with three, rejoicing, coming together, teamwork, collaboration kind of ending. So yeah, there can be a happy ending here. Can be healing, forgiveness kind of energy if you both come together and work on this. And I think it'd be stronger than it was before based on clear, open communication and clarity wow Taurus okay <laughs> best of luck to you here in your situation and I'm sending you many light love and blessings and as I always say with my channel is to always always shine your light